This is John Burr with KPFT News. We're here with Dwayne Bradley to tell us what happened today and what we need from our KPFT listeners. Well, early this afternoon, just uh, about a quarter to three, a large lightning bolt <laughs> apparently struck out behind the backyard of KPFT, uh, shaking the building, frightening everybody in it. I, sitting here, jumped. Uh, it was very, very loud, bright light. Uh, I expected to immediately have to run out into the backyard and get our little gas generator powered up, figuring we had about 15 minutes before the power was off. And then I realized the only thing that went off was the radio. The lights were still on. And then I ran out and smelled burning electrical wires over in our engineering wing and began to assess the damage, which was rather extensive. We appear to have both our satellite dishes impacted, our uh, digital phone lines have been fried, uh, we lost our emergency alert system unit, uh, phone and power modules on all three of our production and studio consoles were fried and, and other ancillary equipment that's been damaged by this, which being in a membership drive, it gives us something certainly to uh, point to as, as something people should necessarily support us so we can fix all of these things. These are actually additional items that were not budgeted in KPFT's membership drive that we're now going to have to really push hard to mitigate some of this damage financially. It just even underscores to me more the importance of a successful fund drive and pushing really hard to get what we need here to stay in operation. Any idea how much you think this additionally could cost the station? Uh, easily um, multiple thousands of dollars. We'll be assessing it over the weekend. We won't really know exactly how many of these things can be maybe safely repaired if we send them back to the original manufacturers, how many of them are, are toast at this point, and we're just going to have to buy new units and replace them. But I, I would safely say multiple thousands, hopefully not tens of thousands of dollars in damage. Yeah, what can our volunteers do? What can people do to help out? Best thing to do is call 713-526-KPFT. The fund drive continues. Volunteers continue. We're operating kind of a Band-Aid version of the radio station this point with no phones in the studios, computers are down, uh, satellite links are lost, and so forth, but we can still do basic radio with CDs, microphones, turntables, uh, a little bit of... Um, Old-fashioned. Good, yeah, good old-fashioned know-how, and I, you know, basically helping out a little bit more. The volunteers, as always, doing a lot of hard work. Uh, I really was impressed at how everybody stepped up and just like, what do we need to do? You know, move these things, fix these things, crawl under these things, tracing wires, trying to find any sources of potential, you know, where there might be something burning or anything, and you know, trying to solve as many of the problems as we can. What's the website address they can go to, too, if they want to uh, donate that way? Well, of course, kpft.org is always on. That, that site never went down, and that's a great, safe, and secure place for anyone that wants to help us out now or anytime.